is Kenzie. As y'all can tell from the title, today's video is my evening routine, basically. I want to say my 5 to 9 after my 9 to 5, but I go to work at 7.30, so ain't no 9 in that. But, logistically, that's just not true. So, but the vibe is there. It is actually 5.37. Also, y'all, peep the new nails. So, I had work today, obviously. Work was good, work was cool. As y'all may know by now, or maybe y'all don't know by now, we're moving, and I mean, I've been moved my stuff, clearly. I really did a lot of my stuff at the same time, but I'm still getting, like, little stuff. Like, I got all my business clothes today. I got, like, some, like, smaller things that I was just holding off on getting, like, stuff like that, like, stuff that I just loved. So, anyways, I went to the house to go get that stuff. And now I'm here. I would have honestly been here probably an hour earlier, but it's cool. And I really like my bed, guys. It's just the handyman just put it up today. First thing that like I've started incorporating into my nights is working out at nighttime. And because we moved, like I'm not as close to the gym as I usually would have been. Like I was very close to the gym that I went to. Both the gyms that I went to, I was very close to them at the other house. But now being here, I am far from the gym and you know getting up early is not a problem but getting up early and having to drive such a distance what like everything like my whole morning's rushed like no matter what way I want to do it no matter how many more minutes I want to wake up early it's just very very rushed and then having to be at work at 7 30 like it's very rushed off and then like having to be in bed early and then waking up even earlier like i'm all for sacrificing an hour of sleep but driving that far but the good thing though in all of this is that they are building the gym that i go to five minutes away so that's really good for me so that's just what i've been on so that's what i'm gonna go do i'm about to work out do my little workout before I come and settle in back from the workout. Um, it was great. It was great. It was great. A lot of people out with dogs. Honestly, I really, I just, I just really like working out in the afternoon, y'all. Again, I don't have no problem waking up early, but if the drive isn't quick, I'm gonna have to rearrange the schedule. I cannot wait to get these ankle weights. Like when I have my low intensity days, I really wanna start using like ankle and wrist weights um just because i think it would switch up like you know muscles being used intensity would do would do so yes y'all i'm about to hop in the shower put my pjs on since i'll be in for the night to be honest i got out of the shower a minute ago but my mom had came dropped some stuff off i was doing a lot of like organizing because there's just so much stuff now that my drawers underneath my bed were done like there was just so much that i could finally put away but then i also gave some stuff away because I have to stop hoarding clothes. So now I'm gonna wash my face. It's a cute little curl. Y'all see that? It's a cute little curl. Now that I'm done with that, and I got a lot of organizing out the way, like I don't have nothing left. Y'all, my curls look good. Uh, like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm just, I'm so distracted. They just look so good. So now I can finally start making my dinner. And I am so excited for my dinner, y'all. I'm so excited for my dinner. And I'm very excited to put on my bonnet today, y'all, because I got a new bonnet from Yanni Best. And it is the cutest little color. Like, usually I don't ever get, like, colors. I always get black or purple or that cheetah print color but i haven't really stopped with the cheetah print because i had way too many scarves head wraps and bonnets that were purple cheetah print and i'm very excited to wear it because it has the cutest little style and they also have just super duper cute colors in different lengths like they have one for if you have box braids you can still wear this bonnet you feel me look at that like the color is so good and it feels so good they have a lot of different types of bonnets too so definitely check them out now for my skincare okay my skincare is not complicated at all Ooh, i need to get some more of this and if you've been around long enough you know that i have sensitive skin you know i am a sensitive skin girly i got eggs monster i use the la roche purifying foaming cleanser and i use cold water when i wash my face always 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 <laughs> So after 
after that, I literally just pat my face dry with a paper towel. And that is literally it, guys. I have oily skin, so my face is just naturally going to, you know, whatever the word I'm looking for there. I'm waiting on the oven to preheat so I can make my din din. In the meantime, I am going to be munching on this watermelon, which is kind of crazy because I'm about to have some chicken wings. My dad actually got us yellow watermelon, but it's in like the big chunks. It's not in the small chunks, which sounds crazy. Like, why don't you just cut it? But this is already in the slices and he bought me this first and I've been meaning to eat it, but I just always ended up getting busy with something. So I'm like, today would literally be the perfect day. Ooh, y'all, look how crispy it is. Do y'all see the crispiness? Forgot all about my bows. But while I munch on this, y'all, I am going to be looking for more jobs because if you haven't watched episode one of Navigating My 20s, A Digital Diary, y'all should definitely go do that. It was a great video. But um, I am on the search for a job in the field that I'm looking for. Mm! Ain't nothing like watermelon, y'all. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. So beautiful. Delicious. Couldn't have been better. Got my energy back up. So tonight for dinner, I'm having the Trader Joe's Hot and Spicy Wings. They are so good, y'all. Like, I'm so glad that my dad got me these because they're absolutely delicious. Like, I love them. And I got some blue cheese, so now I got blue cheese and green. Had I eaten lunch today, I would save half of these and eat it for tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna do a different plan since I have a different schedule tomorrow, like after work, since I'm helping out with one of the games. So I do need to have like something to eat. I'm going to make my lunch and I'm going to make dinner at the same time. I don't know if it's just me, but have, do y'all have like any meals that y'all don't make for anybody else but you? Which y'all are gonna see me make for lunch? It's very plain, very basic. Like I would never make it for somebody else. If I was gonna make a meal for somebody else, I can cook y'all, okay? So don't do too much, I can cook. But if I was to make somebody else food, I would make them like food, like food food. Meal that I'm making for my lunch tomorrow is not really, I don't wanna say it's of substance because I think it tastes great. Like it's one of my plain basic meals that I like to make for me. Now I would add chicken, but I didn't take any chicken out because I didn't think that far. But I just think it tastes great and it's just something that like I like. Like I wouldn't go out to a restaurant and buy it if it was an option. No, like I just like it for me and myself. <laughs> As y'all saw, that was my little meal for myself. That is just, I just like it. Like, I just think it tastes so good. Obviously, it tastes even better with chicken, but that is just something that I would make for myself and literally nobody else. I actually have way less wings than when I originally got these last week. But these ones are fatter. I got my blue cheese, and I'm gonna use blue cheese and ranch. The heck? Mm. I'm going to have the Jumex Guava Nectar. Shout out to my dad for getting this for me because it tastes so good. And he got me a mango one, but I just wanna ride the guava one out right now. Now 
hot cocoa and i'd be alternating not gonna lie to y'all sometimes i'll have chamomile tea sometimes i'll have hot cocoa i just really love hot cocoa sometimes so before i go to sleep because like i have such early morning now and like i did find it difficult to do my devotion time in the morning before work i just been doing it before i go to sleep i'm still reading the same books that i've been reading since my last digital diary video except this time instead of the anger toolkit i have been using this book and the 14 day mind cleanse has been good like i've really been enjoying like the second week as well and just like the questions they ask i feel like it's a really good way to end off my day i feel like you can't gain anything bad from reading different people's perspectives and techniques about things so this is just another example of that but something that i have been looking at more daily is this book again i read this book at the beginning of summer and that's why i have so many bookmarks because when I was done, I went through the book again and bookmarked everything that I liked or like really connected with. And one reason that I really like this book is that it had Bible verses in it. I like how he tied Bible verses with the concepts that he was talking about and how like they're one and the same. This book showed me different Bible verses that I really felt and I really felt like they resonated with me in my life and not even just situations, but like me as a whole, you know, and like who I am as a person and how I should think on a daily basis, you know? That's another reason why I really like this book. And aside from that, like the book is just great in general, like 10 out of 10 recommend that you read it. I like how he has so many examples from like people that live like completely separate and totally different lives and even at the end of each chapter like he has like things to keep in mind you know it's usually like maybe 10 things anyways y'all so i'm gonna journal and drink my hot cocoa and i'm about to play my affirmations before i go ahead and you know really settle down because it is getting late and i do have to be up in the morning Blessed. 